Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hi. Today, oh, my name is Crystal, in case you're new. And today we are, I am determined to find a way to do a good paint pour that creates solid cells and that I don't need to use Floetrol. Um, there's different options from Floetrol, as I've been experimenting. One is Elmer's Glue All. And it must be glue all okay I know this is backwards but it's glue all by armors and the uh, Elmer's and there's a lot of different Elmer's glue so anyway but we're not using that today um, we did that yesterday okay so today I found that my pore medium by liquid X okay that worked a lot better than the glue as a substitute for Floetrol. Okay, um, so today I've lined out, I've got all my colors ready um, to put into one cup to do a pour. It's a very small canvas, so I shouldn't need a whole lot of paint. And I'm also going to do one other thing different, and that is to um, lay a cover of gesso, acrylic gesso. Okay, I've never shown you that. So I'm going to be using acrylic gesso. And I added a little bit of water, not a whole lot. Okay, and that's what I'm going to spread first on the canvas. Okay, then we're going to do our paint pour. Okay, so I'm just giving it a good stir. And find a place for the stir stick to let live. If I can cover that quickly. Eep. Don't fall off the edge. I want you to stay on that. Okay. I'm going to pour it a little more than I needed, but that's okay. Lots of gesso. It is a bit watery since the red. Oh. Now this crafter is Jane with crafts, I, I believe. I will leave it in the description box. But she showed doing a paint pour using varnish accelerator for a cell accelerator. Okay. Now, I use a different cell accelerator, <laughs> and it's actually worked before very, very well. And lately, as I'm trying to show others how to do it, I haven't been having success. So, we're doing it again. And yeah, I did quite a bit of gesso here. Let's see if we can. Get some of that off. I'm wanting that. I think the purpose of this is one the slide factor. So probably so that the paint all will get you know run off and into the edges easier. Usually now another trick people do and that is to put like a push pin in your canvas so that it's not laying straight on my canvas. Also they do the, they put it on like a Lazy Susan or your actual pottery wheel that goes round and round. Okay, I don't, I don't have either one of those, yeah. Not that I can't make something up to move my canvas around but I you should be able to get a nice pour without having to do all that. Boy I really really overloaded this. So just kind of uh, I had that a little smoother now I kind of messed it up. Okay let's 
see if I can just sit it down again. It's interesting using a palette, not a palette instead of a brush, you know? Just get a different feel for it. Okay, well, we're gonna get it just about level as we can and just call it a day with that. Now this, again, this is an experiment. I've never had to, you know, put gesso down first, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay, there it is, beautiful. Okay, so let's move some stuff out of our way. There we go, now let's get to mixing our paint pour. And I've learned that you're supposed to start with a heavier color in the beginning, uh, you know, at the top. So what I'm gonna do is add some of this burnt umber into my cup. There we go. Drippage as usual. All right, now I think I'm gonna come in with some gold. This is golden brown. And I'm gonna begin putting myself at a very high pour so that the pouring length is long and it drips into our paint. Okay, that actually makes a difference. So, kind of a little stream, that's white. Okay, I want to come in now with a little bit of pink. This helps your cells to start activating. And I'm going to put a little purple. Out of purple actually that's all right I don't know felt purpley <laughs> okay silly me I know okay um, now I think actually I'm just gonna come in with a little bit more white with that purple and I'm gonna come in with green and I keep forgetting to hold my jar up high so it is a long drip down that supposedly helps make cells. Isn't that interesting? I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, now I'm going to come in with some yellow. Actually, what I think I might do first is come in with some more of this golden. shaking. It's all that coffee I drank this morning, I think. I wish you, you know, I should be able, I should be showing you probably how it lands inside the cup. I'm not, let me move it up a little bit. Let's see, maybe here. going to give you a good view or not. And again, pouring high. Okay. Uh, you know, it's like, yeah, which color next? Which color next? I have no idea what this is going to look like. for the pour and 
our experiment, how it worked using, again, liquid X as a pour medium has been mixed into each paint. I also put gesso and some water down on my canvas first, okay? Um, after this one, I'm going to try varnish. I heard somebody else used varnish as a cell activator. Okay, what I use is coconut milk. Okay, uh, coconut milk, anti-breakage serum. I got it at Walgreens, okay? Real easy to find, all right? And I've given all my paints a good, a good squirt. So let's get to the pour. I'm just curious what this gesso is gonna do. It'll probably make a much bigger mess. So what you do after you turn your cup over is you just, as I'm doing, giving it a little bit of time. As I get a little more time to make sure I have paper towels and things like that in case needed. All right. Because I really, this is gonna go, I think, everywhere. Because there's quite a bit of paint and then this experiment with the gesso. Okay, here we go. Now what I do is I do kind of a movement. Ooh, oops. On the canvas. I don't know if I like the colors or not. And let's see what we get. Ooh, I'm seeing sales. Make sure I get every little drop. Now, I don't know if I need to torch this or not. I use, I, I, during my testing, I have been doing that. Torching. Oh, ah, see ya. I go smell, whatever that means. I have no idea, but I say it once in a while. <laughs> Especially when I'm happy. I am super happy with this, guys. Look at the cells. And I'm glad I made as much paint as I did. That way I don't have to do a lot of this moving around with the canvas. Because I found yesterday when I was experimenting using Elmer's Glue All instead of the pore medium, which is instead of Floetrol, um, I wasn't getting, you know, I got cells. And then when I moved the canvas, the cells all disappeared. Um, now this time I used um, more. I did two squirts of my coconut milk. Because, and it usually means that you can create bigger cells. Um, that's lovely. I'm going to go ahead and try a torch. It's not going to hurt anything. And uh, maybe it will bring some more cells out. Now that is a 70s color mix, if I've ever seen one. So, be very careful. get so nervous with this thing. Everybody be very careful if you're using a man's torch and not a craft torch yeah, that I see other people using. I just don't have it. And uh, with a husband who has about every kind. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. Super glad I torched it. We've got multitude of cells coming. The black and the burnt umber are coming up, which is where I put a double hit of our cell accelerator. So see, it, oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so darn happy. What I'm going to do, it's even formed it on my napkin. Um, <laughs> little cells on my napkin. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? I love this. Yes. Yes. So all I'm doing is dragging my finger in the, the spilt paint. 
to cover our sides. And in case there's any messes or it didn't get all the way to the corner, we want it to. So there we go. Put a little bit more of in the here. I love the way it rolls off and gives me that, but it's not consistent. I could have kept pouring the paint, I guess. That that would have worked to get it more on my sides. But anyway, that wasn't this was an experiment. So wow, and it's a success. You don't know how happy I am. There you go. No flow trail flow troll from Australia or the United States brand Floetrol. Expensive. You go through it too fast, okay? This pouring medium that I get used, la la la, okay? It's going to make your life really a lot easier because that's what I mixed with my paint. And it goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. And it's also high gloss. Um, the coconut milk, again, perfect silicone over the counter it was nine bucks and to me that's a bargain look at that one little drops or two little drops at a time this is gonna last me forever and many beautiful paintings so wow I've unlocked what I wanted and I have been being a chemist and scientist trying to achieve what I have seen others do um, and it worked. It's absolutely beautiful. The reason I keep talking is because I'm, I'm watching other cells actually immersing. Yeah. Whew, so pretty. Um, I'm gonna see. I hope I gave you a better view. I took my cam, the the camera, my cell phone, smartphone, off of its little holder there, and I was so afraid it was going to cut the video off. So I was hoping that I was able to give you a very good view. I I just didn't want to pick it up quite yet. So, Gesso worked wonderful as far as the spreading out of the beautiful painting. And uh, we've got beautiful cells. I'm super, super happy. I hope y'all get this. And I figured it out. No flow troll. Get you that Liquid X pour medium. It's cheaper. It also comes in a big gallon. And you can just keep filling your little jug up. Um, and coconut milk. Anti-breakage serum. It can't be the oil now. Don't go for the oil. It must be coconut milk anti-breakage serum okay even though the backside has terminology for silicone on the oil brand, oil kind it doesn't work I tried it eh. so <laughs> now that we got the right one I want everybody to know about it then I'll never be able to buy it again because it'll all be gone <laughs> I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, if you're liking what I'm doing, if you like my experimenting, if you like my paint pours, hit like, hit share, subscribe to my channel. I do something pretty much every day. And all it does is tell you, hey, Crystal uploaded another video. And that's it. And it's free to subscribe. I would love to have you part of, uh, a part of my family. Um of subscribers. Um, have a great day. I'm so excited. Um, this is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, what a beautiful painting. Thank you all for joining me. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye for now.